Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> well, it shouldn't shock anybody that uh, Xbox Series X, uh, it's moving up to the green and uh, it's getting at the lower ask price. Uh, this is pretty good, actually, because... Uh, it's cheaper now to get the Xbox Series X uh, on the uh, stock X than it is PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 is still at that 700 plus. Uh, I was lucky enough to get it for 700, but now the PlayStation 5 went up to 760. Uh, and the bit keeps going up 696. Last time it was 650, now it's 696. Is the highest bid now it's uh the lowest ask it's 760. um so uh but it shouldn't surprise anybody that playstation 5 is trending as the most uh requested console and i don't mean to you know upset any of the xbox fans but majority of people out there are looking for playstation 5 they're not really looking for xbox Series x i'm just saying Oh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, sorry about that. I totally forgot that uh, what we're supposed to talk about here. <laughs> Cameron D, welcome back. Mamba, Desperado, welcome back, everybody. All right, so before I start this whole live stream, what is StockX? Now, for me personally, I never heard about StockX, but I know that now that I've done the research, I know they have been around for for a long time. Their main focus was sneakers, you know, clothing line, watches, stuff like that. Uh, clothing mainly and sneakers like um, Nike Air Jordans, you know, the, the most uh, demanding sneakers that sell out from the Foot Locker. You can find them here. Uh, and uh, that's what their main uh, marketplace was, was the sneakers. Now, uh, due to this whole situation with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, now they're getting on into the electronics consoles, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So this is how it basically works. It's like eBay. There's a seller who wants to sell you a console or a product, and then there's a buyer, you the buyer. Now, the only difference between the eBay and the StockX is the seller has to go through a authentication process, meaning that they have to double check the, uh, the product to make sure that it's legit, that everything is inside, that it's not broken, that it's not cat food, that it's not a uh, can of beans or what have you. So they go through that whole process of authenticating to make sure that it's authentic, uh, that it's accurate. And they have a warehouse uh, in Detroit and in, in New Jersey. They got a warehouses and the seller has to send the product to the StockX and then StockX warehouse. They have to spend, uh, depending on how many items they have, they have to spend almost the entire day just making sure that everything is legit. When I say entire day, I mean because there's so many sellers sending the products. So StockX has to go through every and each individual of these products that the seller is shipping. And they have to check it to make sure that it's authentic. So now why is this, uh, why is this uh, uh, important thing and why this is better than eBay? Well, for, for that one simple reason, with the eBay, you have to take a seller's word that he's not going to sell you a fugese or a lemon or uh, some kind of can of beans or snake oil. You don't have to worry about snake oil because uh, here that can never happen. Because if somebody tries to uh, sell you a snake oil, they're going to return that snake oil to, to the seller and then they're going to refund the money to you. So that's, I think, one big bonus here. 
that StockAss has, and they also have a pretty good prices. Uh, you're not paying fifteen hundred dollars. You're not paying two thousand dollars for for a console, which is totally ridiculous. Uh, as you can see, you can get the Xbox for six fifty six, and the prices are coming down on the Xbox Series X. Now, the PlayStation Five it's still trending. It's it's going higher actually. PlayStation Five now it's going higher. That's because it's like stock market it fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down. Cause why? Because there's so much demand. For the PlayStation 5, it really shows you how much demand there is for this console. It is unbelievable. I think PlayStation 5 probably is going to break the record. Not probably, but most likely, it's going to break the record from PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 was the king of the highest selling console of all time. I believe PlayStation 5 is going to take that spot as the highest uh, avatar of selling uh console period all right anyway so let's get back to the chat room sorry about that i just had to explain this uh for individuals who don't understand how stock x is and how stock x works um and let me go through a chat room <laughs> hey cameron you started playing the last of us remastered in the playstation 5 that's pretty cool man i can't wait to test all these games on the playstation 5 um Mamba Man says, I'm absolutely going to buy a PlayStation 5 from StockX if yours works. You know what? Let me be the guinea pig. Uh, I hate to use that word, guinea pig. But yeah, uh, let me be the guinea pig. Let me try it out. Right? Let me try it out so you don't have to. Let me be the guinea pig. Let me be the test subject. Let me try it out. And then uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Now, just because... I have a shitty experience doesn't mean that other people will have a shitty experience. You know, it just depends. It really depends on who the seller is. You know, maybe my seller, it's, uh, you know, some lazy bastard who is shipping it like seven days ground or whatever. And I have to wait seven days till it freaking arrives at stock axe and he's trying to save money. Uh, it depends on who the seller is. It depends. It really, it's a. It, that's the one thing that kind of sucks. It could be some some dude from I don't know, um, Alaska. Okay, I'm just hypothetically saying maybe Hawaii. Maybe I just happen to be the one to buy the console from somebody who's in Hawaii, and it's gonna take a long freaking time because he's using seven day uh, free shipping, whatever. And I'm gonna have to wait forever. For the damn console to arrive at the New Jersey headquarters so they can authenticate the console. So it could be two weeks, three weeks before I get my console. Who knows how long it's going to take. Some people say 18 days to 20 days. Uh, the estimate, it's March 26th. So it's like two weeks. Um, so, you know, it, it really depends. That's the one thing you'll have to... Uh, understand now if you buy and you happen to be that lucky and you buy a console from somebody who lives in New York City and he's shipping it the next day and New York City New Jersey it's like right there bro right so that's it you'll probably get your console within three to four days probably within four days or five days you'll get your console it, it really depends on the situation. And another thing can happen. What if it fails? It doesn't go through the authentication uh, process. Let's say he gives you a lemon, right? Uh, let's say the, uh, the side of the console is broken here. Uh, something's missing here. This side is peeling off, right? Or this side is coming off and it's dented, it's broken. The fan is not working. Or there's a red ring of death and you got yourself a, a broken ass console. That's possible too. I mean, that's why you go through the authentication process. So, but as you can see, um, right now, the console of PlayStation 5, it's selling, uh, it's trending, and the prices are always going higher for PlayStation 5. Why? Because more people really care about the PlayStation 5. And again, I do want to get Xbox Series X, and I will get it. But let's be honest, guys. 
and this is a fact, they don't really care that much about the Xbox. This is how I know. $656. This is going to drop down to, to $599 pretty soon. And you'll be able to buy it for $600. Uh, maybe even five, $580. Because the, the Xbox Series X, it's really not that much in, in high demand. The only reason they're scalpering it is because the scalpers, they want to make whatever money they can make. But they know their main attraction is PlayStation 5. Everybody knows that PlayStation 5 is the main attraction. That's what people want. That's what people care, really, uh, to, in all honesty. Um, let's see what Mamba says. I think that you are looking at now is the UK uh, plug PlayStation 5. I just saw the US uh, under 700. Really? But this one is a, uh, let me see, am I? Uh, maybe this is the UK. I don't know, but let's search. Let's see. Um, PS5. Hold on. PS5. Uh, US. US plug. Let's see. Um. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Well, there you go. It just went down. You're right. That was UK. This is US. Shit. If I knew. If only I knew, man, yesterday I would have, uh, guys, uh, if I knew this, I would have taken advantage. But see, that's the thing. You don't know. You don't know. Maybe next month all of these consoles will be, uh, it's it's one of those things. It's it's That's the thing about life. It's almost like gambling. Uh, be prepared to lose and be prepared to have. It's like a stock market. Buy shares, sell shares, buy it, sell it. It, it, it. There's really no way of knowing. It's really you have to be lucky. I believe one thing in life, uh, and I believe with everything, you have to be damn freaking lucky sometimes. It's it's really, most of it's luck. I'm not kidding. Uh, look at this. If I have known this, how was I supposed to know that the price is going to come down to 678 Um All right, well, there you go. How was I supposed to know this? Uh, <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. That's the thing. Uh, but that's all right. It still comes to 700 you know, with uh, shipping and handling and, you know, taxes. It still comes to 700 But look. Um, and maybe this guy, it's maybe it's selling it from New York. Maybe from uh, Virginia. Or maybe from North Carolina. It, it would be even faster to ship it from North Carolina to New Jersey. You know, it shouldn't take that long. Um, but, you know, but there you go. You're right. So I apologize to you, my Xbox fans. Um, but still, let's be honest. Both consoles are great. Uh, but let's just be honest. Majority of people want PlayStation 5. You know, again, and Mamba has Xbox. Uh, my friend uh, Cameron has the Xbox Series X. Uh, and guess what? Cameron ends up playing PlayStation 5 more than he is the Xbox Series X. Um, and then Mamba only has the Xbox Series X. But I'm pretty sure once Mamba gets the uh, PlayStation 5, he's going to end up really playing more of a PlayStation 5 uh, with the Demon Souls and uh, the, the new game coming out uh, pretty soon. That uh, survival uh, type of a uh, Mass Effect uh, exclusive game that's coming out. I forgot the name of it. Some woman in a spacesuit, whatever. Uh, looks pretty good. But let's be honest. You know, PlayStation 5, it's really the, the highest item. But let's look at the Xbox. Maybe we can find it cheaper uh, for you guys. Hold on. Let's look at this, man. Let's look at the Xbox Series X. Um, U.S. Uh, plug. Let's see. What? This one is at 600? No, that's a U.K. Holy shit. U.K. went down. Japan went 800. Holy shit. Japan? Uh, is that Japan? Yeah, Japan is 800, dude. Uh, UK, if you're in UK, uh, 600, let me see, is it? No. Uh, let 
Yeah, that's that's a UK six hundred. So the US it's six hundred fifty six. It's not bad. Look, it's not bad. Honestly, um, if you really want to have the Xbox Series X and you like, you don't want to listen. I think this is good if you don't want to fight through the, uh, you know, going through all that hassle, fighting with the bots, fighting with the scalpers and dealing with, uh, you know, all that BS in stores, people hiding the consoles, the employees hiding the consoles in the back so they can sell it to their friends. If you don't want to fight that kind of crap, if you don't want to deal with that kind of crap, and you're like, hey, man, I really love Xbox, and I want to have my Xbox Series X within two weeks. All you have to do is wait two weeks, okay, let's say. You can wait two weeks. You waited this long. You can wait two weeks. Uh, you can have it. You can, you, can, you can get it right now, dude. You know. So, um, but I think you guys should wait. For me, as a guinea pig, and wait for me to see um, how it goes. Right now, I'm still waiting uh, for my seller. He has shipped the console on the 10th. Today's the 11th. So it's been, uh, he shipped it in the morning. Uh, sometime in the morning, uh, he shipped the console. But I don't know from where, but it was in the morning. That's what the stock X told me. And I'm still waiting for, for the console to show up to the uh, uh, stock X. I don't know when it's going to, maybe probably Monday, they'll probably receive. They don't receive it tomorrow. They're closed on Saturday and Sunday. So they'll probably receive it on Monday. If they receive the console on Monday, then they have to test it. And then they'll probably ship it uh, once they finish authentication. They'll probably ship it on Tuesday, and then I'll, if I'm lucky, I might get it by next Friday. That's if I'm lucky. <laughs> so wait for me uh, so you can see what the experience was, how long it took. Uh, are there any scratches, bumps? Is there a problem with the UPS? How, how did they ship it? Did they ship it with UPS? Or did they ship it with FedEx? Or did they ship it with my worst nightmare, U.S. Postal Service? God, please, don't let it be a U.S. Postal Service. For the love of God, please. Uh, that's the worst nightmare. That would be like my worst nightmare that I just don't want to be in, man. Uh, let it be UPS, let it be FedEx, but for the love of God, do not let it be the U.S. Postal Service. That's like my worst nightmare. Uh, and I hope they're not doing it. I think it's UPS. That's what they're mainly using. It's UPS. Uh, that's what I heard. That's what I was told uh, from majority. But I don't know. Anything's possible, man. You got to remember, man, this, this thing right here, uh, so many things could happen. So many... Um, unknowns can can really uh, happen here. You know, StockX decided to sell it through, uh, to ship it through FedEx ground seven days, UPS ground seven days. UPS still haven't delivered it. Sit somewhere in a warehouse. They forgot to put it in a truck. Now you got to wait another five days. So it could be 25 days till you actually get the damn thing. Or it could be the worst case scenario. They ship it to you through U.S. Postal Service, USPS, which is the worst nightmare. And then it's stuck somewhere in one of the U.S. Postal Services, and you got to go there. You got to go pick it up. You got to bring your ID. You got to bring this. You got to bring that. Uh, and and, and I, don't, I, I hope I don't have to go through that nightmare. Uh, that would really piss me off, man. Uh, so there's so many things. So I want people to understand this. This is not like Best Buy and Target where you know you're going to have it in two days. Or like Amazon, they'll ship it to you in two days. And you know you don't have to worry about it. You know it's a UPS, FedEx, or Amazon truck. Amazon truck bringing it. Most likely Amazon truck. So, you know, it's not like that. This is really... Um, it's one of those things where... How badly do you want it? Honestly. It really comes down to to one thing here. How badly do you want this console? 
you know, how badly do you want it? Me, I really need it because of the YouTube. If I didn't have a YouTube, honestly, I could wait. I'm just being honest. I could wait. But because I have a YouTube channel uh, and I'm tired of just doing the flight simulator, constantly flying the damn thing. Uh, people are getting tired of me flying in the flight simulator. Uh, I felt like I really need this right now. And it would really benefit me greatly to do all those tests that I want to do. And Cameron D can help me out with uh, some tips. He can uh, show me certain things of what to do, what not to do. Because Cameron, I'll get in touch with you, Cameron, through the uh, my PlayStation uh, Messenger and Instagram Messenger. And we'll get in touch. And, and once I get it, before I unbox it, I'll, I'll talk to you and all that. Like, give me some key pointers on what to do, what not to do. Don't put it in standby mode. Don't do this. Don't do that. Like, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to get in touch with you before I even unbox it and all that. Before I do the entire, like, a 30-minute video. When that day comes, you know. Cameron, that's what I'm afraid of. Honestly, and that's the, the biggest fear. Some of these, um, look, there's always shady people. We live in a very um, trying times uh, where people are desperate. We live in a death. Okay, that's the perfect word I was looking for to describe 2020 and 2021. Desperate times. Why no one's calling it desperate times? And these are some desperate times. 2020. 2021 really desperate 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 times and people will do anything they don't care they'll take a risk they might even know this could be a playstation in there because it's stock x it's either a playstation or a pair of sneakers nike air jordans or whatever and people do shady shit even employees yes they don't care if they get fired. They're willing to take that risk. So I hope I don't have that problem where I don't have to uh, go through that kind of bullshit. Uh, but that's possible. That has happened. That has happened. Uh, depending who's delivering the package. They can actually... Here's my worst fear. And this has happened. The law enforcement actually, in some states, they have did an investigation with this where... An Amazon person, employee, would type in that the package has been delivered and that you signed for it and it has been delivered, but he would never leave the package. He would take the package. That has happened too. And that, you know, has been dealt with, with Amazon and obviously some people got arrested and uh, fired and whatnot. Um uh, prosecute it because of that that has happened in 2020 and uh during the holiday season i don't know if you heard the news if you're watching the news and stuff like that i mean there's all kinds of shady shit that can happen you know so i hope that's not the case because i've been watching a bunch of videos i've done a lot of research and um these are all authentic people individuals whom i have watched uh on youtube and they all pretty much are authentic. Um, maybe I can, let me see. Maybe I can show it to you. Um, let me go through my history. Um, hold on, where is it? Um, I'm not watching a lot of animal stuff. Um I see this guy right here. Uh, he got... Uh, hold on. I'm not going to... Like this guy got it from the StockX. And uh, I've been watching him. Uh, he got it. And it's working. Uh, and it's in good condition. Uh, there's another guy uh, right here. Hold on. That i also been uh, watching. I've been, I've been doing a lot of research, man. Uh, where's another guy? There's another guy here. This guy here, too. He got it. And uh, 
I don't want to use too much of his video, but he got it. It's in good condition. It's working. Uh, there it is. Uh, so there's like, I've done a bunch, bunch of videos I checked. I even contacted some of these YouTubers. Uh, and they told me they had to wait 18, uh, 18 days, but they finally got it. Um, let me see. There is a, a, this guy too. He got the digital version. Um, this guy as well. Uh, pretty legit. This guy got it as well. Uh, he unboxed it, and uh, there it is. And uh, I think he plugged it in later on after he finished. I left him a comment here. Uh, there you go. I left him a comment. So shout out to him. Uh, the GG, the Triple G, Triple G. Um, so I've done my research. I've been, you know double checking everything contacting the youtubers and uh asking them their experience and what they've been through as far as the uh, stock x so what i'm trying to say without butchering this too much is very very and there's this guy right here too uh i liked his video see he connected it he booted up and it's working fine um and I'm thinking to myself, while I'm doing all this research, okay, I've done a lot of research. While I'm doing all this research, talking to all the uh, authentic buyers who posted the videos like this one, you see, I left a comment for him too. So shout out to uh, Conviction454. Uh, uh, he told me, hey, you know, he got it. It took 18 days. It's legit. It works, no issues, no problems. And I said to myself, you know, if StockX was such a bad place, then people would make videos saying, hey, man, uh, this doesn't work. Or, hey, man, this is broken. So that's the one uh, silver lining. That's the one benefit, I guess, of StockX. Yes, you are paying a, a premium price on top of the original price, but... I guess the blanket of the insurance here is that it's working because it, it has to go through authentication. If it's not uh, tested, if it's not authenticated, then you will not get it. They will not send it to you. So I'm confident that once I get it, there won't be any issues. There won't be any problems. But then again, like... Uh, like my friend Cameron said, what if somebody drops it? What if, uh, you know, people at UPS warehouse and they, you know, play a football with it or something? I don't know. I'm not saying that they will. But what if they just like they don't care? They're careless. They're just dropping it and pushing it and kicking it. And they're upset, you know, or something. Or they just had a breakup with their girlfriend or something. They're freaking upset and they're kicking the box. And the box that they're kicking happened to be my PlayStation 5. And they break it, right? So there's that too. There, there's that 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 fear. You know. But that's like saying, what are the chances of me, you know, getting stuck in the elevator? Uh, really, uh, they're, the chances are highly unlikely. But it can happen, you know. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Pure Platinum? How you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome uh, to the uh, to the chat. What's your what's your biggest fear, Desperado? Uh, that the biggest fear over here is that I don't have the clear vision. That I always wanted to have the clear vision when it comes to the PlayStation Five, but now, Dylan, I don't have the clear vision. It's all your fault, Dylan. Instead of paying for this console, you're making me do it. Dylan, what happened to you? Did you used to be somebody I can borrow the money from? What about now? Anyway, I'm losing my Arnold thing, man. I used to be good at doing Arnold uh, voiceover. <laughs> uh, I heard uh, from Jake Randall, 
I'm serious. From uh, Jake is very reliable, man. And what really got me into this, honestly, it's Jake, because uh, he's a he's a big you know YouTuber when it comes to uh, stock market and the retailers and where you can track and buy certain things. So Jake Randall, when he tells me, "Hey, dude, don't worry, feel feel safe buying it from StockX." If you can't wait, if you really don't want to fight the bots, if you don't have time to sit home all day long, clicking the F5 and waiting and waiting and waiting, uh, waiting for that 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 console to be available so it can be in your cart, saved in your cart. If you can't wait and you don't want to fight the bots, you don't want to go through all this uh, chaos, then he told me, feel free to go with the stock axe. And I told him, dude, I really don't have time. I said to Jake, I really don't have time, dude. I really don't have time to sit all day long. Like today I was working. I didn't have time. Like right now I came back from work. I'm here. Uh, and I don't have time, dude, to, to, to sit all day long and, and just wait for the, for the stock to come back and all that. So he told me, go for it. Don't worry about it. And I think I'm confident right now the StockX honestly seems like your best option Uh if you really want it, like you got to pay a premium price, but it's up to you. How badly do you want it? You know? <laughs> yeah. Every five minutes, you're right. And, um, I just don't have time, uh, honestly to, to sit all day long and keep track of that stuff. I wish that I had somebody to do that for me, honestly. Uh, but I don't. I don't have the luxury of, of, I don't have interns running around, you know, I don't have that luxury to, to have somebody sit all day long uh, and to do that for me, you know. Oh, one more thing I want to I wanna talk about, um, and this is the question somebody asked me today, and I didn't get a chance to answer it, or maybe I did answer it, um, regarding the, uh, the, the purchase method, how do you purchase uh, through StockX? I just want to clarify this right now for people who are watching. Uh, your debit checking will not work. Uh, if you have a debit checking card, you cannot use it. It has to be a credit card. Now, don't freak out. It's not the end of the world. What you can do, what you can do, you can use your PayPal and transfer the money. Um, and transfer the money from your uh, bank account, your checking account, transfer whatever, 700, 800 to your PayPal account, and then use your PayPal to pay it through PayPal. You can do it that way. You can link in your uh, bank account uh, on your PayPal and then send the money to your PayPal and then use the PayPal to, to purchase either PlayStation or what have you, the Xbox, which is right over here. So you can do that. Or if you really are struggling and you can't pay 700 800 then you can apply for the Affirm. The Affirm, uh, it's like a loan, like a bank loan company, but they're not charging you interest rate, okay? There's no interest rate. Uh, basically, you can pay within 12 months, uh, $72 a month, you can do that. Uh, or you can just pay it off all at once or however you want to. Either way, they give you 12 months, no interest, till March uh, 2022. If you want to pay it off early, you can pay it off early, so you have that option as well. So what I'm trying to say is uh, the debit will not work. They will not accept that. Um, let's see, uh, Cameron D. The PlayStation 5 will come with the PlayStation 5 base in the box, which will have the uh, screw inside the base itself to mount it. Oh, so there's a screw inside of it. Oh, I mean at the bottom? Oh, I see. So it comes with, um, like a little... 
um, like a, a a little like a table holder, right? And you put it on that base, right? And you screw it in. I see, like a statue holder, almost like a statue, like a statue holder, right? Uh, and this part right here, you're talking about, right? This part right here. So this part right here, you're talking about that circular thing. I see what you mean. So he's talking about this. That's the base that goes into it. And I think this is what makes it taller, right? This part right here, when you put it on, I guess that's what makes it uh, all that taller. Inside the black base. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. We're talking about the black base. We're talking about this right here. This is the... Uh, where you're going to mount it. You mount it on this base right here. Uh, don't worry. I'll figure that out. If I can put my Proform bicycle together, I'll figure this out. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass, let me tell you. Putting my bicycle, my Proform bicycle together, man. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. That thing is so heavy. Um. So if you guys have any questions, I mean, what do you guys think? Like, honestly, what, what is your, like, whole... Uh, you guys know uh, so far how I feel about this and uh, what I'm going through. I told you I'm making the videos called The Journey, part one, part two, part three. I'll keep you updated on the, what's going on with the, with the console and all that. And uh, the, the whole reason I'm doing this, it's really to... To give you my experience, like what Mr. 4K had to go through. Uh, and is it worth it to you? Is this something you want to go through? Uh, how badly do you want to go through this? Uh, I should have done this earlier, to be honest. I, I would have had PlayStation 5 and the X Series X by now. I should have done this in January, uh, to be honest. But I was skeptical, really. I, I was really having that hope, that uh, that hope that maybe that I would be able to get it by the end of March, beginning of April. But looking at the situation right now, guys, uh, with the semiconductors, no production of the semiconductors, the shortage, and scalpers are just rampant. It's like a new business now. It's normal. Uh, really, man, uh, you're going to have a difficult... You're going to have a really... Uh, uh, man, I'm telling you. You're going to come to the same conclusion where you're going to say, I had enough. I had enough. And you're going to say, the hell with it. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with the stock X. You, you're going to say that to yourself. You're going to say, it's been six months. It's been eight months. It's been 12 months. It's been a year. The hell with this crap. Uh, I'm not fighting the scalpers. I'm not fighting the, the people in stores. I'm not fighting the managers who are hiding the console behind the freaking desk. Uh, so they can sell it to their friends. I just want to have it. I just want the damn thing. And I think this is like probably your best, your best redemption <laughs> to getting the damn console, honestly. But I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Oh, I'll be here. <laughs> Trust me, I'm taking a day off. I'll be here. You can count on that, bro. I'll be taking a day off. I'll be here. I'll be here 100%, man, waiting. I'll be outside camping, dude. That's it, man. I'll, I'll bring the sandbag and everything, you know, get everything ready. 50 caliber, Humvee, uh, two uh, Abram tanks, Apache helicopter. You know, everything will be there, ready to go. Uh <laughs> The UPS guy will probably uh, run away. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Hell no, man. I'll, I'll be out at the outside, bro. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting outside, man. That's it. I'll be like a hawk. Just waiting and looking and waiting. Oh, man. Oh, I'll, they, they'll know I'm waiting. Trust me. I'm not leaving home that day. I'm taking a day off. I'll be there. I'll be here. I mean, here. Not leaving. Uh, fucking A. I'll be here. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that shit so fast from his hands. I'm gonna hold it tight. I said, this is mine. This is mine, Dylan. This is my baggage. Mine alone. Yeah, so... Uh, let's see what Cameron says. Sony said PlayStation 5 won't be uh, available in store until maybe September 2021. Oh, my God. September 2021? Nah, man. I cannot wait that long, dude. Life is too short. Listen, guys. Life is too short. You don't have a ma uh, crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball. Well, maybe I do. For certain things. Like, I predicted... Uh, certain things I predicted, like I predicted that uh, the shadow is going to go down the toilet. And I also predicted that the uh, the maximum settings is a, becomes like a joke. And it will become a joke. Uh, it is a joke at this point. Uh, and also, the one thing I didn't predict uh, was Stadia. Stadia had me fooled. I was really confident that Stadia is going to be able to pull through. But I was wrong. I mean, I was wrong about Stadia. I'll just say it. You know, I trusted Phil too much. That bold, beautiful head. I trusted him so much, and I shouldn't have. Uh. <laughs> but I was right about some other things. Now, in general, the cloud. What what I was right about is the cloud gaming technology. It's not going to be in fruition till 2031. I think 2031, when all of these consoles has been uh, cycled through, then I think we'll have much better internet infrastructure and that internet infrastructure will give us the ability on all of our televisions and devices and phones and you name it, we'll be able to play our games on instant from PlayStation subscription Xbox subscription, Nintendo subscription, and uh, hell, might even throw in a Sega in there. Maybe Sega will do their own thing. I say, okay, we'll do our own thing. Uh, maybe Dreamcast Cloud, Sega Cloud, you never know. Uh, but that's that's long time. That's 10 years from now, dude. That's 10, 10 years a long time. Who the fuck knows what's going to happen uh, 10 years from now? Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? <sighs> so I don't want to really, like, dig deep. But in general, life is short. You don't know. You don't know, man. You could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, and I think you should experience this console. If you really want it, experience it. Same thing with the Xbox. Because you don't know, man. Life is such a short-lived uh, experience. It's just... People take it for granted. They think they'll live forever, you know, and they don't take in consideration, hey, you know, you could be the wrong place the wrong time, some maniac out there, you don't know, uh, or whatever. Uh, it's like a Final Destination movie, right? You don't know. Um, so, yeah, man, why wait? I don't want to freaking wait. I, I want to experience now. Now, I'm not working for StuckX. I'm not here to promote StockX. I'm not uh, sponsored by StockX. What I'm simply saying is StockX seems like the only uh, the only way you'll be able to get this damn thing. Unless you know somebody uh, like my friend Matthew Fritz. He was honest. I had a conversation with him today. He told me that uh, he has connection. He has connections. And he was able to secure PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X because he has a connections in a retail store. And I think, Cameron, you told me the same thing, right, Cameron? You knew somebody at the EB Games who helped you get uh, both PlayStation 5, Blu-ray, and digital, and then the Xbox Series X. You had a connection as well. So, obviously, uh, if I'm wrong, correct me, you know. But I think you might have told me that you knew somebody who helped you in Toronto, Electronic Boutique. Now, I don't have any connections, okay? Uh, and uh, everybody knows that. Because uh, if I did have connections, I would have it by now. Uh, Review Tech USA has a lot of connections. He's in upstate New York. 
So he was able to get it. Uh, Solidrev probably has connections. You know, he knows a lot of people. His wife knows a lot of people. Listen, the and that's okay. Listen, that's okay. I'm not here to judge anybody. If I had connections, I would do the exactly same thing. If I had connections, and I'm not here to judge people. That's okay, dude. Good for you. I mean, I'm not here trying to judge anybody. That's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but what I ask people. And what I tried to ask people yesterday and today is to be honest about it. Like, like not to insult my intelligence. That's the one thing that you might have seen on the comments. I see people say to me, ooh, I was able to secure three PlayStation 5s. Come on, man. If you're going to say that you're able to secure three PlayStation 5s, you got to back it up with some kind of a proof. You have to document that. You have to give me uh, some kind of documentation, proof that you really were able to secure three PlayStation 5s from Best Buy without any bots, without any of that uh, extra, you know, help. You can't just say, oh, I just got bought three PlayStation 5s. You know, what I'm trying to say is this. I'm not trying to be an asshole to people. But what I try to tell people is this. I'm an old dog. I'm an old dog. I've been around. You know, I just don't like when people insult my intelligence. When they start telling me something. Because like, if you insult my intelligence, then you're pretty much hosing me down my brain. You took my brain and you're hosing it down. And you're brainwashing me. And you're telling me I'm stupid. All I ask for from, from people is be honest about it. It's okay. If I had connections, believe me, I would tell you I had connections and this is how I got it. End of story. Uh, <clears throat> oh, so that's how you guys got it. Oh, let, let me let me read it. So Sorry about that. I I, I don't know why I, why I said I, I I thought maybe you told me that you knew a guy who helped you. Uh, but anyway, let me read this. Um, I randomly called every EB Games in Toronto on launch day, and one of them had two PlayStation Five available. I took my brother with me, and we each got one. We had a lockdown, so it made it easier for me to get them. And this was. Cameron, uh, this was in November, right? November 10th. The EB Games got in trouble because they were not allowed to sell the PlayStation 5 to walk in people since it was locked down. But me and my brother got uh, the second that they had. Oh, I see. So that's how you got your PlayStation 5. All right. Thanks for clarifying that for me, Cameron. Uh, so what happened is he got lucky in Toronto. The store that's nearest to him in, uh, in Toronto, EB Games, Electronic Boutique, uh, nobody knew that they had it in stores, right? Uh, and he happened to, to, to call at the right place at the right time. And they were able to sell it to him. But they were not supposed to sell it. Nobody knew that uh, people were not notified that, hey, Electronic Boutique is selling it inside a store. And he just happened to be lucky enough to call at the same time. So he got lucky. So Cameron here got lucky, like very, very lucky. Him and his brother. And that's awesome, dude. That That's great. Uh, yeah. And But that's awesome, dude. See, you got, you're, you're lucky, bro. <laughs> that's that's really good luck that's a good luck charm right there um but how did you get the xbox uh cameron the xbox Series x um on the november uh 12th was it november 12th uh xbox Series x i think you told me you were hitting the f5 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 re refreshing or something and you finally got in you got through You went to the uh, Xbox uh, Xbox website, right? You went to the uh, Xbox website on November 12th 
and uh, Xbox Store. I'm sorry. And you were refreshing, refreshing, and finally you went through, uh, and you were able to sec to secure it, right? Oh, Best Buy. I'm, man. <laughs> oh, you bought it from Best Buy. I'm sorry. I see. I got all of this wrong. I apologize. So it was the Best Buy, not not the Xbox store. Using the refresh, you know. Okay, I got you. I got you. You know what's really interesting to me um, is that it's true what I said about being lucky. If you read what the Cameron just wrote down, it's really about being lucky. You know, uh, it's it's really true. If you're not lucky and you're not meant to be, um, no matter what you try, it, it's not going to work. And, and I think this is the uh, excellent proof right here from Cameron how lucky he got. He got lucky, both him and his brother, just so happens that the electronic boutique didn't tell anybody that they were selling it in stores and they had two of them. Uh, and just so happens that Cameron was calling and finally he was able to go there and, and both him and his brother secure two of them. Uh, right? So that's pure luck. Uh, so he got really lucky. And then on the Best Buy, hitting the refresh, refresh button, refresh button, and he got through. Me, let me tell you, I tried everything. You guys have seen those videos from September, right? Uh, September, uh, sep uh, was it September? September, I tried to, to secure a pre-order. Uh, right after the, uh, there was a press conference uh, PlayStation event. Uh, they were showcasing the uh, un un unwailing, um, what you call it? Uh, uh, for the for the very first time, they're going to showcase the PlayStation Five. There was a PlayStation event that took place in September. What the hell was it? September seventh or something like that? Or September tenth? I'm sorry. It was a September 10th and what's September 20th. I'm sorry. It was September 20th uh, and they were doing the um, the PlayStation event. There was a video, uh, live video PlayStation 5 event and they were going to showcase and show how the PlayStation 5 looks for the very first time. And then somebody broke the news. I think it was Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keeley broke the news. Hey, man, I think tonight there might be taking a pre-order for a PlayStation 5. And I was like, oh, shit, is this true? By the time I got to the, uh, the Best Buy, Amazon, and Target after midnight, it was all sold out. Like, you couldn't pre-order. Uh, and then, after that, I was not able to pre-order PlayStation period. And then I tried the Xbox. Uh, and I was always late. I went to the uh, Xbox store. I was able to put it inside a cart. But it was snatched out of my cart. Basically, the bots snatched the damn console out of my cart. And I was not able to check out. Uh, so since September, I don't want to butcher this story. Because uh, it's going to be a long live stream if I butcher this story. But long story short, ever since September, I want people who are watching this to understand this. Why am I doing this? Why am I going through StockX? Uh, because I've never been through this kind of experience. Uh, trying to find a damn uh, uh, piece of electronic uh, plastic console to, to buy it. You know, I've never been in this kind of situation. Uh, PlayStation 2 was difficult, but it was not impossible, okay? I was able to, to have it in December, uh, and it was released in October of 2000. So my whole point here is this. 
the reason I'm going through the stock X, it's because since September, since September 2020, I had zero luck. Like, and I mean really zero luck. I spent sleepless nights. I've, dude, looked everywhere. I even tried to stand in line at the GameStop. But the GameStop told me once they opened uh, the store, they said, we only accept, uh, how many of you? 16? I was the, the 14th. Says we only have eight in stock. Sorry. Only eight of you in line. First eight of you in line will stay. Rest of you, we're sorry, you have to leave. And I was not able to get it from GameStop. And it was a bundle. It was a it was an eight hundred dollar bundle shit with a Call of Duty and some other shit. I think Call of Duty Demon Soul or whatever. Uh, and um, so I, I tried everything, man. I really I, I swear to you. I swear to you, I tried every possible thing since September. Nothing. And I mean, really, nothing worked. And I'm at the point right now where I just said, fuck it. You know, man, I had enough. Uh, this is driving me freaking crazy. I'm losing my mind over this crap. Uh, I'm just going to bite the bullet and go with this. And that's that. So that's the reason I'm telling you this, why I'm doing this and why I'm recommending the stock X is because right now at this point, if you are like me and you are fed up with this crap and you're tired of this situation and this is the new normal, this is the way it is, th there's nothing wrong with this. Don't be ashamed of this. You're not paying $2,000. You're not paying $1,500. It's not that bad. Uh, and uh, this seems like probably your best option right now. If you don't want the headache, if, if you're fresh, listen. Who wants the stress and drama? Do you want to live your life with some panic attacks, shortness of breath, uh, having the uh, uh, blood pressure go up and stress? No, you don't need that crap in your life. Just do it this way. Do it this way. And uh, at least you know you'll have it within 18 days, within two weeks. It's going to show up to your freaking door and you'll be able to finally play the damn thing. Because um, this has to be one of the worst, in my opinion, this has to be one of the worst uh, new generation console uh, releases ever. This will go down in history. I, I, I'll say it. I'll, I'll say it personally. This will go down in history of video game consoles as one of the worst uh, new generation uh, console releases ever, like ever, ever to this date. And I think this is hands down the worst that I have ever. If you have seen anything worse than this, please do let me know. This makes PlayStation 2 look like a walk in the park. Walk in the park. People forgot PlayStation 2, you were able to go to Blockbuster Blockbuster video store. I, I was a manager there. I knew you were able to go to a Blockbuster video store and you were able to rent a PlayStation 2 for a few days and you can extend a rental. That's how I did it. You were at least able to rent the damn thing. This thing, you there's not even a, a demo. Let me tell you how bad. Let me tell you how bad this is. There's not even a demo in the stores. Where you can like, you know, go and play, turn it on and play some games, look at the, the screen, look at the controller, hold the controller, play some games. There's not even a demo in a, in a stores for both Xbox Series X or, or PlayStation 5. Not that I know. Of. I'm in Florida. Maybe you guys in some different states, maybe you have it. I don't know. Maybe in California or some other places. If, if there is, please do let me know. But I haven't even seen a demo store where you can kind of like a play just to try, just to try the fucking thing. Just to try the damn fucking thing. Let alone like, hey, buy one. Um, and that's even frustrating even more. You know, uh, where it really makes you so, uh, this, I gotta be honest with you, this has made me the most angriest ever. As a gamer, 
this situation with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S X has really made me goddamn angry. Uh, the, the, the situation, the way it has turned out to be. It's hands down the worst. The worst. You know. And, uh, and, I, and I have to tell you the truth, man. I have to tell you how I feel. You know. Um, and uh, this is not good, man. Listen, I, I don't enjoy this. Okay. And all those YouTubers that I showed you. The ones I spoke to you, uh, the ones I spoke to uh, with, uh, the videos that I showed. Listen, they hate this. They hate that they have to uh, bend over backwards and go through all this crap just so they can, uh, just so they can purchase a damn console, a piece of plastic electronic. You know, it's like looking for a heart. I mean, you can get a. a you can probably get a heart transplant much quicker and faster than getting the PlayStation 5. No, I, I'll, I'll say it. You won't have a difficult time getting a heart transplant. You'll probably have a, a much faster, quicker time getting a heart transplant than getting these damn consoles. And this is not a good time if you're a video gamer uh, that we have to go through all this bullshit that we have to deal through all this crap. And I also blame Sony and Microsoft for this, that they allow this, this nonsense, you know, because uh, I don't know what's going on, but something stinks. Something stinks here. Something something's doesn't add up here when it comes to Microsoft and Sony. In Toronto, no stores have been allowed to reopen since uh, October 10th, 2020. So it makes the PlayStation 5 only available online for purchasing. We are now the longest province in lockdown in North American history. That's crazy, man. But I don't know. You know, I think I don't want to jump into the COVID. Um, COVID-19 uh, rabbit hole. Because, you know, YouTube doesn't like that. Uh, YouTube doesn't like uh, COVID-19 rabbit hole talk. But I personally think that this whole pandemic COVID-19 situation, uh, Sony and Microsoft, they're taking advantage. And that's what makes me even more sick. I don't, listen, that, that's even more sicker. If that doesn't make you sick, if that doesn't, uh, I don't know what will make you sick. I personally believe that Sony and Microsoft are taking the advantage of this situation so they can have guaranteed money, guaranteed success. They love this. This is guaranteed. This is like a fixed market. It's like a fixed market. You know exactly what shares to buy and when to buy them, when to sell them. This is like fixed. And I think they might be, again, it's uh, call it conspiracy. It might be that they're doing this on purpose, making the excuse of uh, semiconductors and then making the excuse due to the COVID-19. Now, uh, granted, we have a COVID-19 situation. We, we all understand that. We get it. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Six feet apart. Give me a break. We got it. We understand it. But I think that they exploited that situation, that they took the advantage of that situation. And now this is where we are. This is the situation we're stuck. We're stuck with this bullshit situation. And it's pretty sad that we have to go through this kind of crap. To go to a company that sells sneakers and a company that sells sneakers uh, from sellers you know, now we gotta have to go through them to purchase this damn console for a higher price, hoping hoping that it's gonna work, that it's gonna be authentic. Uh, you know, this is this is really um, not a good time uh, to be a video gamer. This is a pretty sad fucking times, and I'm sorry for the language, 
but this is real me. This is not some, uh, you know, filtered YouTuber out there, you know, with the fancy lights and all that other crap. This is really a real talk, uh, a middle class real talk. Majority of us are middle class. I'm not talking about it, uh, whatever, uh, 1%, 2%, 3% royals and rich, wealthy, you know, individuals. Uh, to me, they're like aliens. I don't really uh, try to uh, even try to associate myself with them let alone talk about them. Uh, I'm talking about the middle class, majority of us. Uh, this is not good. Uh, and when I talk about consumer rights, when I talk about consumer rights being uh, thrown out the window, that's exactly what I mean by your consumer rights being thrown out the window. That this kind of like new normal, it's being accepted. Now think about this. I read your comments, by the way, guys. Just so you know, I, I read Cameron's and Desperado's comments. But think about this. If we are going through this right now, and this is the truth. If we are going through this right now, and we're dealing with this situation right now, imagine, just imagine, when the PlayStation 5 Slim and PlayStation VR 2 come out in 2023 or possibly 2022 PlayStation VR 2 how difficult impossible it's going to be to buy PlayStation VR 2 you'll probably have to go through StockX pay like a quadruple the price to get one and you'll have to do the same thing with the uh the PlayStation five slim and then the, the new xbox Sirius xl whatever they call it with a dual gpu the new xbox Sirius xl whatever they call it when it comes out in 2024 it's going to be the same thing and this is what i don't like that this is the new normal i hope you guys are hearing me even for those of you who don't like me who have some hatred towards me, even if you hate me, you can agree that this is not a good way to be a consumer, to get into this hobby, if it's going to be this kind of ridiculous, where you're going to constantly have to go through this and bend over backwards to be able to purchase a piece of plastic with the electronic in it as if you need uh, a heart transplant or a liver transplant transplant right it shouldn't be like this and I'm afraid I'm afraid 100% afraid that this is the way it's gonna be and I hate my predictions and I wouldn't be saying these predictions but something in me tells me that this is gonna be the new normal this is what we're going to have to become immune and we're going to have to accept it. And honestly, it's going to come to the point where I'm going to have to ask myself, is it even worth it being a, a, a console gamer or a PC gamer? Is it even worth it? Is this hobby even worth it anymore? That's the question that you all going to have to ask yourself. And even I'm going to have to ask myself, is this hobby even feasible anymore? Uh, considering the way things are going. And that should scare everybody. And if you're not scared, and I don't know what the hell to scare you. Uh, that scares the shit out of me, pretty much. You know, and no one seems to talk about that. All these big YouTubers don't talk about that. Uh, I don't see them talk about that. They're giving you this false hope, false, false hope. You know, they're all talking in this filtered language. They're pretending as if they don't know what's going on. You know, like, uh, I don't want to name names. I don't want to do that. But there was this one guy who does the TV reviews. And he says, hey, guys, have you heard about the PlayStation 5? It'll be difficult to find one. Maybe till late summer till you can find one. As if, like, he didn't know the situation and what's really going on. 
but because he works for a, a corporate company, and I'm not going to say who this person is. Obviously, he's being told what to say because his bosses are watching him. I'll, I'll fuck it. I'll just say it. I'll say who it is. The guy from Digital Trends. Uh, what's his name? Um, Gabe or Gabe or something? I don't know. Gabe or whatever the name is. I forgot his name, but something. The guy. Rev- I like the guy. He reviews. Uh, televisions, and he also talks about uh, the C10 and PlayStation 5, and testing the PlayStation 5 with the uh, with the televisions. And I like Galeb, Galeb, right? And look, I have nothing against Galeb. I like him. I know he works for Digital Trends, and he has to say what the Digital Trends tells him to say. I understand that. I get it, dude. You know, I know how it works. You don't have to tell me. But it drives me crazy that you see all these YouTubers, you see all these companies, and none of them want to address how terrible this situation is. None of them want to say, holy crap, this is really not good. This is not good. We're not in a good place. (laughs) We are not in a good place, man. We're in some very fucking, uh, how would you call it, Uh, Mad Max, Purge, Purge slash Mad Max, uh, the Last of Us type of a survival of the fittest uh, type of situation. Desperate times. Um, and I hate to kind of jump into this and talk about this, uh, but uh, it bothers me that the other YouTubers, they're not talking about this. They're turning the blind eye on this. and they're d- Don't get me started with Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer can't even admit the scalping issue. Can't even admit the scalping issue. He says the shortage is AMD semiconductors. Semiconductors. He can't even admit. Why? Because he works for Microsoft and he doesn't want to lose his position. He loves the money that he gets from Microsoft, I get that, I understand that. So, don't expect these CEOs and these uh, 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 big YouTubers, sponsored YouTubers, and you know the big ones. Don't expect them to tell you the truth. Don't expect them to to tell you how shitty the situation really is. And don't expect Jim Ryan, who praises seventy five dollars per game on PlayStation exclusives to tell you or to even mention the scalping situation. You know, I'm probably, 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 probably the only YouTuber on this forsaken planet that's telling you this as a truth to how bad it is. Anyway, what about you guys? Enough about me and me rambling. Uh, Tell me, what do you guys think about the stock X. Do you think that, hey, you know, this is the the last resort. This is really uh, the only way right now. If you don't have any connections, you tell me, guys. Just, Cameron, how you feel about StockX? Desperado, how you feel about it? Um, Mamba, how you feel about it? Just let me know. And those of you who are sitting, hold on a second. Um... I apologize about this, guys. Um, I owe you all an apology. Um, I apologize. YouTube, you have me punked twice now. No, three times. YouTube, you have punked me. I got to fix this. Um, My chat. My chat goes to default on the member chat only. I have to fix this. Uh, I have to fix this. I know. Sorry, Isuzi. Uh, my bad. I apologize. No, it's YouTube screws me over every single time. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna fix this. I gotta fix this. It's okay. Don't worry, man. You know he's right. You know I should have. I should have fixed this, but I forgot. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. Just t- 
tell me how you feel about the stock X. I'll fix this whole uh, live stream, uh, live chat crap tomorrow. I promise you, I, I will look into this. I'm going to fix this. Uh, I was like, well, there's a 50 people in here. It's like a member chat only. Like, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, go ahead. Start asking questions. Go ahead. Let me know what you guys think. You know how I feel. Uh, you know where I stand. I said what I needed to say. Uh, I, w I want to hear what you guys have to say. What is like a 30 seconds? Um, oh, let, let me get that taken care of too. Um, the hell with the slow mode. To the hell with the slow mode with this over here. I don't want the slow mode, man. I want people to just tell me, tell me, tell me how you feel. This, ugh. What was it? An hour and 16 minutes, man. People can't come in. They're like, what the hell is this shit? Some kind of a sick joke? Um, AAJ, the beast. Can you elaborate on that? Tell us. Tell us why. Why is a ripoff? I mean, I don't know. It could be a ripoff. Uh, I don't know. But at the point, at, at, at this point right now, I don't know. Uh, what's the other solution? It's either fifteen hundred dollars. Hopefully, you get the console, maybe a cat food, or seven hundred, and it's being authenticated. Uh, but let me know. Elaborate. Tell me. Uh, the beast a h j and welcome to the chat room just like uh tell me your opinion uh what do you think why that is i'm gonna respect everyone's opinion here don't worry i will i promise you i will respect everyone's opinion but i just want to hear like like i want you guys to explain to me why you think it's a ripoff and how do you feel and stuff like that N1, uh, Trous X, good point. That's a good point. If there's something wrong with the console, would the warranty be honored by Sony? That's a good, que uh, good question. And probably a question that I should ask Stock X uh, at New Jersey. I'll ask them. I'll ask them. I will. But that's a good question. That's a really good question. Uh, I don't think, excuse me, I don't think Sony will honor it. Uh, that's a good, that's a very good question. Night was it N1T? Nitros X? Really good question. I don't think they're going to honor it, but I'm going to ask them. I'm going to ask them. Uh, what happens if it doesn't work? I mean, what happens if it's broken? If it breaks? Within three days, are you guys going to honor the warranty? I don't think they will. I don't think Sony will honor the warranty. And they'll probably say it has nothing to do with us. That's the seller. We're just here giving you the platform to uh, buy it from a seller. Uh, I don't think Sony would honor it because you didn't go through them directly. Or you didn't go through a retailer directly. You buying it from uh, from someone else. You know, so that's a good question. But yeah, that's that's the risk. That's there's a listen. There's a lot of risk here. There's a lot of risk here. Uh, let me see. Uh, Cameron says if someone is okay with paying the extra. For the console to have it early, then it's not a ripoff. There is nothing wrong with someone selling it for more money if he or she has demand for it. Well, that's true. That's capitalism. That's that's the way the uh, the uh, the American dream works. It's the capitalism. 
no different than flipping the houses and selling a house or whatever uh, market, uh, what you call it, uh, real estate market. Pure Platinum says they do. They do unless the console was opened. Um, Let's go to the help. Let me see some. But you said that they do. You said that they do. Um, that the Sony will honor it. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to look into that pure platinum. Thank you for letting me know. If they do on, if the Sony does honor it, uh, well, that then is good. Unless the console was opened. Now, what do you mean by console being opened? You mean tempered with, right? Um, as long as nobody is tempering with the console, right? They don't take the uh, this part over here. And um, they don't take it apart and try to put some uh, additional, I don't know, custom stuff in there. So as long as this, it's the way it is and it's not being tempered with, they will honor it. Okay, so I guess that's what the Platinum is saying. They will on The Sony will honor the warranty as long as you're not tempering with this, you're not taking it apart, you're not messing around with it. Uh, they should uh, honor it. So that's that's a good news. All right. <clears throat> Let me see what the uh, AHJ the Beast is saying. Uh, I would rather get a computer than pay one thousand though. Uh, that's true. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, but again, AJ uh, AHJ the Beast. That depends on a person. Uh, to you, that could be the case uh, for you. But for some other people, they're only using a PC for video editing or some other things, and they're not really PC gamers. They're not invested into PC gaming. So for them, uh, paying 750 seems like a... appropriate appropriate price to pay and I'm trying to use my vocabulary carefully here for them it might be an appropriate uh, price to pay but for you in your case well you know I can I definitely get that man uh, the beast I definitely get it uh, you know if you're gonna spend close to eight hundred, nine hundred dollars you might as well go with the PC right and that's a good point and, and it's a legitimate point and uh, I can definitely see that. Uh, I can definitely see that. <laughs> Philly, uh, Philly says, funny how we're paying, how we end up paying the same amount as the PlayStation 3. Maybe PlayStation 5, it's PlayStation 3 inside. You know, it's just we don't know it. Or maybe PlayStation 5 is the uh, the rebirth, the rebirth of a PlayStation 3 fat. Maybe that's what it is. And the Beast says 700 isn't too bad. Well, yeah, I mean, it really depends on how you look at it. Uh, honestly, it's like Cameron says, the Beast, it depends how much is it worth it to you. Uh, how badly do you want it? You know, there's an old, uh, it's true for everything. How badly do you want something? And if you want it so badly, I don't think the money is going to be an issue because you want it so badly, like at, at this point, you don't even care. You're like, I don't care. I really want this so badly. I don't care. Uh, so it really depends. But I definitely understand your point. Uh, point well taken. You, you're right. Um, the, the amount you're paying, 
you can easily uh, get yourself a pretty good PC, even with a uh, the 1650 or uh, 2060 Super. You can for like 1200. You can for for 1200 dollars or more. You can get a, a 2060 uh, Super PC with a Ryzen 5, uh, 16 gigs. Uh, they're out there. You can get them. You know. When they go on sales, you can get it for like thirteen hundred or maybe fourteen hundred, and so I totally get it. I totally understand. You know, but uh, let me see. To me, the way I look at PC, uh, let let me tell you how I feel about the PC, and this is going to be my opinion. When I look at PC, and I'm looking at it right now, I'm sitting in my office where I'm doing all this YouTube stuff. When I look at the PC, I look at the PC first and foremost as a personal computer. And that's what it is. It's a personal computer, and everyone will have their own taste and custom-built personal computer for different purposes. Maybe you are into video editing or uh, photo editing, or maybe you are into music and you only have a personal computer to have your music production, right? Or maybe you are somebody who is live streaming and you just need a computer to be able to handle the live streaming and capturing that uh, console live streaming footage. And then there is the, the hardcore PC gamers, who strictly built their personal computers for gaming. Now, if you happen to be one of those, then that's a different story. But that's the way I look at PC first and foremost. Uh, the console, the main purpose of console, it's convenience. Convenience. Convenient way to play video games. And this goes back to... Uh, SNES, NES, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, PlayStation, okay, original PlayStation. This goes back, way back. The, the main purpose of console is to play video games. And it's a convenient way of playing. So this is why I never liked comparing... Uh, a console to a PC. Even to this day, you'll never see me talk about or make a video, you know, uh, a console versus PC because it just really makes no sense to compare a PC, a personal computer, to a console. It's just not fair. Console is the console. Uh, it's it's its main purpose. It's an easy access for you to play video games. Personal computer, you got a Windows, you got updates. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff happening there, okay, uh, for you to to, cons to to even compare it to the console. Not to mention the fact that you can put 3090, 3080 uh, GPU or dual GPU with some ridiculous RAM and, and, and some ridiculous 23 cores i9 processor. So, excuse me. So to me, I don't like to compare a uh, personal computer to a console. But anyway, what do you guys think? That's just me. Daryl said, oh, Daryl, welcome back, man. I just saw you. Welcome back, Daryl. A lot of PlayStation games are going to PC. Well, there's a pretty good amount of them actually going to PC. Uh, we already have Detroit Become Human. We got Heavy Rain. We have um, Days Gone going to PC. We have uh, Death Stranding. And, of course, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. These are pretty big titles. you know. These are not some small titles. Uh, they're pretty big. And uh, they are already... On the PC, 
So it, it looks like that PlayStation doesn't have a problem uh, moving some of their exclusives after they have been lived for two years on a console, and after two years, they're going to put it on a PC market. I understand it from a Sony's market point of view. All right, we had this exclusivity for two years. Uh, it sold a lot of consoles, and these exclusives, they've been on this console for two years exclusively to this console, and now after two years, we made a shitload of money. Let's put... Uh, that exclusive game on a PC now, on a PC market, and let's make some more money. So I think I understand uh, their point of view. But it sucks for us. Let's say you happen to be a, a Sony fanboy, a hardcore Sony fanboy. You're not going to be happy about that news. That's not going to be very pleasing to you. Uh, it may be a good news for the Xbox fanboy, but for, for a Sony fanboy... Uh, Maybe I shouldn't use the word the fanboy, but I don't know. A hardcore Sony fan. Uh, that's not going to be a good news, I guess. I, look, I like variety, man. Listen. I have no problem with this. I'm all... Listen. I think everyone should have a choice where they want to play the game. You know? I think it's good to have that choice, you know. But at the same time, you know, people are saying, but then it defeats the purpose of buying a console, right? Some people will, will have the argument, well, wait a minute, it defeats the purpose of buying a console. I don't think it defeats the purpose. It might defeat the exclusivity, longevity purpose, but I don't think it defeats the purpose in general because you're paying, uh, well, it's... It's, again, consoles are more convenient, okay, versus the PC. PC, I have to sit in the office. I have to be here in a desk. I have to use a keyboard, the mouse. I have to go through Windows updates and all this other crap. Update the GPU, update the sound card, update the, the, the BIOS system, update this, update that. I have to go through all this hassle, right? Uh, with a console... The only thing you have to update is the uh, the operating system that Sony has and the uh, the network, the PlayStation Network. And that's it. And it really, it's quick and fast, and you don't do that that much often. Uh, so it's more convenient, I guess. Consoles are more convenient for people because they're easy to access, easy to play. Um, but I will not lie. I will not lie, the way consoles have become, the way the consoles are moving, tra tra trajectory that they're moving in, the route that the consoles are moving in, it seems to me as if they're moving in the route and trajectory of uh, PC. No, really, they're kind of moving towards the PC. It's like a Steam box. You know, uh, you have to download it digitally. Uh, you have to update it and you have to be connected to the network of that, uh, you know, PlayStation to use it. It's kind of, kind of, kind of moving in that direction. Again, I don't want to completely say that the console, it's a PC. It's not. PC, you can upgrade. It's a, it's a personal computer. This console, you cannot update right here. What you get is what you get, okay? That's the important thing to remember. This box, this router of PlayStation 5, uh, it looks like a router. This right here is a package deal. What you have inside is what you have, okay? This PlayStation 4 Pro that, it, that sits right here, what I have inside this PlayStation 4 Pro, that's what I have. That's what I've got. PC, you can upgrade. Uh, console will not let you upgrade. You have to buy another console to upgrade uh, if it's available. So to me personally, uh, I don't want to say 100% that this is the trajectory, but it looks like they're moving in a PC Steam 
type of uh, service, honestly. It seems to me that they're moving in that direction. I, again, I could be wrong. But what about you guys? Hold on, I got to read some more. Uh, hold on a second. I missed a couple of, couple of chats here. Um, hold on a second. I got to go back, scroll back. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Daryl says, because Daryl, I got to read it, Daryl. Uh, a lot of PlayStation games are going to PC. Okay, that that's that's where we uh, ended up with that subject. Uh, Shadow says, Shadow Exton. Shadow X something. I'll just call you Shadow Exodus. Ordered last Wednesday. Still waiting. Sorry to hear that, bro. Don't worry, Shadow. I might be... Uh, in the same boat you are in, man. I might be joining the same club. I might be joining the same club, man. Uh, let me see. Cameron says, I look at my PC as my bootlegging tool and video editing usage. Well, it's, yeah, it's a personal computer, each to its own. Uh, Desperado says, Days Gone is going to be impressive on PC. I agree. Um... Daryl says, awesome, that's good, of PlayStation, just letting the PC uh, taste of a good games. Now, let's see what the AJ the Beast said here. I want to read everyone's comments, man. I want to get it right. Uh, I'm actually, this is AJ the Beast. Um, A-H-J the Beast. He says, I'm actually happy that all PlayStation games are going to PC. Because it's not fair that you have to buy a console just to play a exclusive game you love. Why not play it on all platforms? I like that. That is true. You shouldn't have to choose between these two platforms uh, and just play it, uh, play you know uh, Halo just on that console or play uh, you know. Uh, the Last of Us just on this console, or play the God of War just on that console, uh, or Gran Turismo just on that console, uh, and I think this was the dream that uh, Phil Spencer always talked about. Phil Spencer always talked about how he would love. Uh, by the way, Phil Spencer has PlayStation Five and the Xbox Series X and Nintendo Switch. He's not a um, he's not a fanboy. But he is the head of Xbox, so of course, the Xbox, he has to talk about the Xbox. But he's a gamer. Uh, he's a true gamer. Um, he said he would love to see a day where this whole console wars exclu exclusivity would come to an end and the tribalism would come to an end. Uh, I agree, uh, actually. I would love that, man. I think... Having the ability to play where you want to play and how you want to play. One game has proven that to me. One good example is December, what was it, December 10th or December 12th uh, or December 9th. Cyberpunk. The ability to choose how you want to play Cyberpunk. Do you want to play it on the PlayStation? Do you want to play it on the Xbox? Do you want to play it on the PC? Or do you just want to play it on a Stadia? Click and play right away. And I think having that option, that's the one golden proof to me last year during the holiday season is the Cyberpunk on Stadia. Where I can choose where I want to play it. And I like that. This is why I agree with that statement. A-H-J the Beast. Uh, because that's how it should be. That's what That would be like a heaven for a video gamer. Really it would be like a mecca. A heaven for a video gamer to choose where he, can, where he wants to play. So you're not forced to buy this $700 console. 
right? So you're not forced to go through all this uh, ridiculousness waiting for your council to show up for both of these consoles, right? So you can choose where you want to play and how you want to play. Maybe you don't feel like downloading the game. Maybe you don't feel like buying that extra hard drive. Maybe you just want to click and play right away. Maybe you one of those guys. So having a choice, maybe that's the way the future is going to be. You'll have a variety of choices to choose how you want to play. And I think this would be the best way for the gaming future to choose how you want to play and make your own decision how you want to play the game, how you want to play the God of War. You want to just jump on the PlayStation? Cool. You want to jump on the Xbox? Cool. Maybe you want to jump on the PC, on your big ultra wide screen, Or maybe you want to go to the cloud and just play it on your cloud, on your tablet, on your whatever, on your phone. You should be given that choice. That's if we were in a perfect world. So I like that. Uh, see what else we got. Uh, that's just business, unfortunately. Well, yeah, Philly is right, you know. Obviously, Sony wants to make money. They want to sell a console. And they know the God of War Ragnarok is going to sell PlayStation 5. Well, it's already crazy. But it's going to be even more crazier once the... Uh, crazier than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, like Joker says. Crazier than usual. And it's going to be even crazier, right? Once the, uh, the Ragnarok comes out. Once all the Gran Turismo and for, uh, Forbidden West, Forbidden West Horizon, right? Horizon sequel, Horizon Zero Dawn sequel, Forbidden West. Uh, once that comes out, uh, it's, it's going to be crazy. How like ridiculously people are going to want this console. Uh, let's see what the Cameron says. I don't think it would be bad for Sony fanboy because by the time they move the games to PC more than likely a sequel of that game will be coming to uh, Sony as an exclusive well that's actually what's happening right now Cameron that's exactly what's happening they're gonna use uh, they're gonna milk the exclusivity of that PlayStation game for about three or four years and after three to four years uh, they're going to move it to PC because after four years, uh, the exclusivity of that game has been milked and a lot of money has been made and now they're going to move it to PC. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you still will have to buy the console and in the next four years, you can only play it on this console. So, I mean, you're not going to wait four years to play a Ragnarok on a PC, right? Or to play some uh, other games like Forbidden West uh, on, you know, 2027 <laughs> on a PC or 2028 on a PC. So it, it's still Sony. Sony's winning here one way or the other. Sony's not losing here. They're winning. Uh, they, I think Sony's at the point where they just can't, can't, they can't lose, really. Even if they wanted to. They can't lose. It's They're like at that level right now. Uh, let me see. Desperado says, It's so ugly, LOL. How the hell am I going to hide it? What are you talking about? Hold on. <laughs> Dylan. I think they got you pushing too many vodkas or tequilas. What are you talking about? Uh, are you talking about the PlayStation? Uh, let me see. Philly says, I hope that they do end exclusives and welcome more cross-platform. Hey, Philly, I, I would love that too, bro. Honestly. I would be a happy I would be a happy gamer. I would probably be the happiest ever. You would never see me lose my cool. You would never see me be that, you know, uh, that crazy off the rails Mr. 4K that I can be, I would be the happiest if that happens. Seriously, I would be so happy, man. 
cross-platform would make me happy forever. Um, Prodigy 4, yeah, I'm gonna, in my opinion, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong. I just want to clarify this. Prodigy, it's, it's, I'm, I'm glad you brought this up. Prodigy, there's absolutely nothing wrong with H1 Vizio. H1 Vizio, it's not the brightest OLED in comparison to C10, and it's missing a bunch of lot of features that the C10 has, but that's because C10, it's a flagship premium LG television. Vizio, it's like an entry-level affordable, the very first affordable OLED for the middle class, for that average Joe, every, average um, day Mary or Trayvon or, uh, you know, everyday Nicola or everyday whoever, fill in the blank. And I'm just simply saying that there's nothing wrong with the Vizio H1 OLED. For $1,200, 55-inch Vizio H1, it's a good OLED. Now, looking at the tests, it's not the brightest uh, and it's not the greatest when it comes to uh, low latency. Uh, you get like maybe 23 milliseconds respond time, which is, uh, which is okay. It's same as my E8. Honestly, E8 and H1 are pretty much in the same ballpark. The only difference is E8, it's a uh, two and a half years old OLED, and I still have it. I have my E8, the 55 inch E8 with the glass all in. Uh, so nothing wrong with the Vizio OLED, but it's not perfect for performance when it comes to video games. When it comes to PlayStation 5, yes, the picture quality is going to look good on that Vizio H1. Not wrong with it. But, but, 23 milliseconds respond time is what you're looking at. Yes, I know it supports 120 hertz refresh rate. I get all of that. But, you're still getting 23 millisecond respond time. While uh, LG C10, it's 13 milliseconds with a G-Sync and a free sync with 13 milliseconds respond time. So what I'm trying to say, playing a Call of Duty uh, through the LG C10 on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X is going to feel much better in fluidity and low latency and low input lag, it's going to be so much better than what you're going to experience on the H1 OLED. But that's why the H1 OLED, it's cheaper. Now, Sam, uh, Sony, A, uh, Sony A8H OLED television, is it worth it? And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying this. No, Sony is asking too much money for the uh, A8H. They're asking $1,700, close to $2,000 for something that's missing a tons of features. Yes, I know it has the Ultimate X uh, chip processor from Bravia. I get it. I understand that. But it's not uh, a complete package deal that the LG C10 brings. What the LG C10 brings is a full package deal with their A10 processor, with the uh, the filmmaker mode, HDMI 2.1 ultra high speed uh, input, game response time, G-Sync, FreeSync, 120 hertz, 4K refresh rate, uh, Dolby Atmos built into it, every possible HDR format it's supported through LG much better user interface not that stupid uh, uh, what you call it um, Android honeycomb with that Android uh, uh, user interface that they're using 
This is much better remote control magic. Uh, listen, there's I can go down the list of the features that the LG C10 has uh, versus the Sony A8H. And Sony's asking a higher price. Why is Sony asking a higher price? It's the same panel from LG. It's exactly the same panel from LG. The only difference is, is the processor. You know, so I don't like that the Sony is making that it's just pulling those kind of tricks. So it's not worth it. Now, if you're going to strictly use it for movies, then yes. But why would you pay an uh, even higher price for something just to watch the movies when you can get the LG C10 for a little bit less and enjoy all of the above? Enjoy the movies, enjoy the video games, and all of the above. And it's brighter. The peak bright. There's even a peak brightness option on the C10. It's brighter. So, plus the pixel refresh, refresher, pixel refresher. It's much better on the LG to avoid the retention, to avoid that uh, screen burn in. You know, LG C10 across the board if you want to get serious with the PlayStation 5. And this is another reason why I want to get this PlayStation 5 console. It's because I want to start doing these tests. I want to start getting these picture settings with the uh, instant game response time, with the, uh, the game mode, with the new updates from the LG. I want to start using my Belkin HDMI ultra high speed. I want to start working on those settings. My own preference, preference custom settings. Okay. And I want to start doing the tests. And it's the main reason why I want to start making those videos uh, with my LG C10, with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X in the future. You know, but sorry about that. I know I kind of went off the track, uh, <laughs> but I was a Tony. Tony, right? So I hope this answers your question, Tony. <clears throat> oh, C10 is the best of the best. I, I mean, I, I'll agree. And I'm not saying this, uh, David. I'm not saying this because the LG gave it to me, gifted it to me for free. I appreciate that the LG headquarters in, in South Korea uh, gave this to me. Uh, I really and and let me tell you how quickly they send it. It was unbelievable how quickly they send it to me uh, in July last year. I'm not saying this because the LG gave it to me for free. I'm simply saying this because this is my fifth OLED. I had a bunch of OLEDs in the past, and I gotta tell you, each year LG gotten better and better and better and better and let me tell you no one makes the OLEDs better than the LG LG's been doing this for a long time and they're going to continue to perfect the OLED self lit self emitting self lit TVs uh much much better until micro LEDs comes out when the micro LED is going to come out who knows Samsung is not talking anything about it and this COVID-19 situation. Who knows when we're going to see micro LEDs? When's that going to happen? Um, but right now, LG is the leader. If you are, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you are like really serious, like Joker, real serious, if you're really serious about getting the OLED, the LG is your best choice full package deal, the user interface, the magic controller, uh, ultra high speed, 4K, 120 hertz. Each, each input supports 120 hertz across the board, ultra high speed. Listen, LG C10 is the best. Forget the rest. I, I mean, really, if you want my advice. All right, let me, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we went kind of off track here. I'm so sorry, guys. This stream is going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, thank you, David. Thank you, Chavez. I can't wait to start working on those videos, really, because uh, I know uh, you guys really want to see uh, what I can squeeze out of this LG. And I know LG wants to see me 
to see what the PlayStation 5 can do, what the Xbox Series X can do with that LG C10. And I want to squeeze every ounce of it. I want to see exactly what's possible. And that's why I can't wait to start making those videos for you guys, you know. And then uh, you're going to come to the same conclusion that the C10 is your best choice till something better comes out. Uh, let me see what else we have here. Um, up, 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 up. X9OH, uh, uh, the best. I'm not familiar with that one, though, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Philly says, yeah, all my TVs I own are LG brand. I used to rock with Samsung, but LG makes a good product. Life is good with LG. But listen, I would be lying if I wouldn't. I would be lying if I wouldn't say, uh, hey, listen. I had a great time with the Samsung. Uh, you know, I got to be honest here. Uh, Samsung KS8000 in 2016, I fell in love with that TV. I love that TV so much. Uh, man, the, uh, the quantum dots, the color, the DCI-P3 color measurement, the color accuracy on that TV, the peak brightness of 1000 nits. I was blown away. Uh, I really love that TV. My brother has it. I gave it to my brother. It's in his bedroom. Uh, but I really love that TV. You know, um, that TV, even to this day, I know it's edge lit. And I know when you turn the lights off, if you're moving to the right or if you're moving to the left, you can see the light uh, reflect from top to bottom, top to bottom, because it's edge lit. But still, even though it's edge lit, it's, it was still... An amazing, t probably one of the best uh, TVs that Samsung has ever made, in my opinion, is the is the Samsung KS8000, hands down. <laughs> Thank you, David. Uh, appreciate that. The new Sony and the new LG G1 will reach 1,000 nits this year. Ooh, I gotta see that. But you see, Mike Katz. Uh, it has to be tested properly. Is there going to be an issue with the burn-in? Having that kind of peak brightness for OLED? Um, how are they going to avoid that? What kind of pixel refreshers are they going to use to avoid that? Uh, what's the longevity going to be of that OLED TV? It's like plasma. You know, you got to remember, the more peak brightness you're putting on that OLED, uh, you got to remember... Uh, the longevity, it's going to be uncertain of that TV, you know. So we have to, you have to kind of, you have to be fair, you know. When it comes to TVs and these technologies, now, again, I don't work for LG Labs. Uh, I'm not privy to the information as to what they're doing and how they're trying to avoid the retention and the burn-in and all that other stuff by using different methods. I don't have the, the blueprint, right? But, that's pretty amazing, man, that, that they can actually do that. 1,000 nits on an OLED? Oh, my, listen, you're going to be in heaven. I'm telling you, you're going to be in heaven uh, of televisions. That's just going to be breathtaking, breathtaking, man, with that kind of like uh, probably the best HDR, period, anywhere. Uh, let's see what else you guys are saying. Um, I expect less from Sony. Uh, well, their A1 was overpriced. You know, I expected them to uh, to lower the price on that A1. I really thought the A1, uh, the way it was positioned with that, um, it wasn't their best OLED. Honestly, still the LG kicked ass with that A1. People, you don't even hear about the A1. Can't even find one. <laughs> um, I mean, I hate... Money knows when it comes to OLED, uh, LG, it's really... Uh, uh, it's, it's the leader. Uh, there's no question about that. 
But let's be let's be honest here. Um, Vizio, I like the fact that Vizio, Vizio is like a forgotten child that nobody wants to uh, adopt. You know, forgotten child. Um, Vizio is good. There's, uh, listen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Vizio. My very first 4K TV was Vizio. And I've done a truckload of videos. I made like half a million views. Close to tens of millions of views through Vizio. And my Xbox One S. And the PlayStation 4 Pro. And all that other jazz. And the 4K players that I ran through it. Before I jump into the KSA 1000. And let me tell you man. Not wrong with the Vizio. My M55... Two, which I still have. It's right here, by the way. And my Sony X900E, it's still here. It's wrapped. It's here. It's sitting here somewhere here. I'm not, I'm not going to give you the exact location where these TVs are. <laughs> but I still have it. Maybe I should turn it on just to see how it works. Uh, but Vizio is a good option. H1. If you... Look, the OLED is very expensive. It's still expensive. The bigger the size, the more expensive. And I think for $1,200, uh, it's a pretty good entry level for a budget. During a Black Friday, some people were able to buy H1 Vizio OLED 55-inch for $700. Dude, that's a steal. A 55-inch OLED for $700? Bro, that's like... Dude, and then they were able to buy for 965-inch Vizio OLED. Now, of course, there's some there's some stuff missing. That Vizio will only look good in a dark room because it's not very bright, and the black levels are kind of crushed because the uh, the shadow uniformity it's not there. It's not gonna look good because everything looks crash uh, uh, crushed. I'm sorry. The shadow black levels are crushed. And on the movies where there's a lot of night scenes, that's going to kind of suck unless you are in a very dark room. Uh, now, did they fix this? Did they patch up the updates? Now, I don't know. Um, I'm not, you know, I didn't keep up to Vizio OLED to know that. But uh, I think what Vizio is doing, it's pretty cool. Uh, they're looking out for the middle class. You know, us individuals who are poor, who don't have money. You know, LG's, you know, it's expensive. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the LG isn't expensive. Yeah. Sony's expensive. LG's expensive. I'm not going to sit here and, and say, oh, go and grab yourself an LG. Like, oh, no big deal. $2,700. 65-inch. 77 uh, inches OLED. It's only uh, $4,800. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It's a lot of money. So um, it's good that the Vizio is doing something. Uh, and I want to see TCL jump into the OLED. Uh, maybe TCL can bring something better. Uh, you know. <clears throat> maybe if Vizio send one to me, if Vizio, if you send me that H1, I would be more than happy, man, to, to run it down and uh, go through it and test everything, uh, the consoles, and compare it to the C10. Compare it to the E8, uh, and then, you know, call me, Vizio. Come on now. You know, it's not that difficult. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the uh, the StockX. So anyway, it's getting kind of like, uh, it's getting late. So um, let's refresh the page. See what's the bid right now. Let's see. Uh oh it's going up, 680. Uh oh, you see, it always fluctuates. Now it's now it's 680. Damn it. Because someone's bidding a higher bid, so it's 680. But you know what? This is not bad. Uh for a PlayStation uh for a PlayStation 5. If I had known about this, if I had known about this, see, but you, I don't know. If I had known about this, I would have waited. I w it's like a stock market. I would have waited for this and I would have bought it like now for 680 but eh. let's see the xbox see what's happening with the xbox did it go up or did it go down 
let's see what situation is. Um, Xbox is still sitting at six fifty nine, uh, which is pretty good actually. Uh, not bad. What? Oh my God, Desperado. Tell us. Oh my God, congratulations, Desperado. How did you get the PlayStation 5? Where did you go? What? Oh my God, Desperado. Dylan. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Congratulations to Desperado. He's getting a PlayStation 5 tomorrow, man. How did you get it, man? That's amazing. I hope Desperado's not pulling my leg. You getting a PlayStation 5 tomorrow? How did... How... Dylan. What happened to you, Dylan? You used to be somebody I could trust. All this bullshit. The PlayStation 5 cabinet minister. You got me in here to do a duty work. <laughs> How did you get this, bro? How did you get it? I can't believe, man. That That's awesome. Oh, your body at work. Works the third shift, so he's always awake and on the PC. When they drop, he got me one on his morning from Target. Wow. Wow. Congratulations, Desperado. Desperado. So, but this still is the bullshit, Dylan. You got me pushing all these scalpers over here, but you don't want to tell me about your friend. So you use me in the, the drop me in the, in the freaking stock X meat grind over here. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you, bro. Man. I'm, I'm glad that you got it. Oh, he said it when the, when the chat started, but you missed it. I know, man. I miss everything, bro. I miss everything. There were so many of you, man. There was like 50 of you that came in. I didn't expect that many. But I had my member chat on. And um, I look, man, I'm happy for you, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you got it, man. I'm glad you got it, bro. It's okay. I'll have to stick with scalpers. I'm just destined to... To give money to scalpers. <laughs> Fuck me sideways. <laughs> I'm going to turn into a scalper whore. <laughs> with all this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but here's the thing, man. I don't have anybody to do it for me, man. You know, uh, people ask me, how is it possible you know, the, 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 how did this possible? Did this good happen for you? Ah! Well, well, dude, I'm busy, man. Uh, I, I work during the day, you know, five days a week, sometimes six days a week. And whatever time I have left, I try to do this. I try to work out. I try to do other things. I just don't have time, man, uh, to do it. And, and no one's going to do it for me. Uh, you know, you know what I mean? I can't do this, uh, you know. I'm alone. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I'm just too busy. And I have to resort to this, you know. Um, but look, I'm, I'm happy for you, man. I really am happy, bro. <laughs> Thank you, David uh, Chavez. It's okay, man. Uh, this is the punishment. I'm being punished. This is all the haters. They're punishing me. This is your punishment. You're going to have to pay the higher price. Mr. 4K. Why? Because you can. And you will. You will. Finance. The scalpers. Yes. You are destined to finance. The scalpers. <laughs> Imagine if I get PS5 and someone immediately offers you... 1200 for it. Mm, that's a good question. Under one condition. Cameron, under one condition. I would only do it 
under one condition. If a manager at the Best Buy store tells me I'm going to keep PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, Series X for you and I'm going to hold it for you. Come in the evening, 7 o'clock. Come to the uh, the customer service in the back and then we're going to do the transaction. We'll put it in the bag. That's like under one condition I would sell it for $1,200 and get that $1,200 and use that $1,200 to purchase PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X from Best Buy. And then that extra $200 left over, I would purchase some accessories and video games, whatever, and under that one condition. But that's a fantasy. You know, that's like uh, I can dream, you know, I can fantasize. It's okay. <laughs> I can fantasize. You know, I can have a guilty. Don't judge me for the guilty pleasure, all right? Might as well have some guilty pleasure dreams, you know, fantasies about a, a plastic and, and electronic. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, man, I'm destined for this. This is my punishment, man. Uh, that's it, man. I'm just not that lucky. The people think, dude, I'm not really that. I'm not that. Do I look like I'm that lucky? Do I look like I'm lucky? Listen, anybody who's born during an earthquake or caused an earthquake, maybe I caused that earthquake, uh, you know, that earthquake, 1979, April in Montenegro, which is in Balkans, okay, Balkans region, Slavic, you know, region, Balkans in Europe. Um, no, look it up. I'm not bullshitting. Anybody who's born... 1979, April, dude, the minute I was getting born, it's on my certificate, the earthquake happened, like 7.7 Richter rit scale, whatever, a uh, hundred people died, and I was born, I'm cursed, man, that's what it is, bro, that's all it is, and Titanic also sunk at the same time, on that date, in the past, when I when the, the when the when I was born, when the earthquake happened, that's damned, that's cursed, bro. I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. A lot, a lot of people think I'm joking with this shit. No, look it up, look it up. Earthquake. Do you want me to look it up for you? I can do it right here, but you guys look it up because uh, I want you guys to see it. I don't it was. It was definitely shaky. <laughs> Everything was shaking, bro. Um, I don't know, man. Some people said that uh I was uh upside down hanging from something. I don't know. <laughs> so uh I'm just not that lucky, man. You know. So I'm basically I'm destined to purchase um, PlayStation like this, and look, look at it this way. Uh, it could have been, it could have been worse. It could have been hell of a lot worse. I could have ended up paying twelve hundred, and get a cat food. There's always the look. Uh, my reinsurance is this. My silver lining is this. It could always be worse. I heard some horror stories, people paying $1,500 and they get a cat food, a can of beans and some other shit. Uh, you know, there's always, uh, there's always worst case scenario. Uh, but for me, honestly, um, is because I don't have time. Uh, and I really tried. Listen, man, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I didn't try. I really, I really, really, really did try. Um, and it just no luck, man. And I have a pretty good internet speed. Uh, I want people to understand this. You know, a lot of people ask me this, like constantly this, this question, um, almost as if I didn't want to buy a PlayStation 5. Uh, I really tried. I really tried to sit there and, and, and hit the F5 and F5 and F5 and F5 and 
track, 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 go to Jake Randall, Jake Randall again. All right, Jake Randall, what's the deal? All right, go right now. Go right now. Go, 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 Mr. 4K. Boom, sold out, sold out. Oh, you got close. Oh, dear. It's inside a cart. Oh, dear. It's out. I tried, man. As God of universe out there is my witness, I have tried. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zilt. Nada. Nyet. Nishta. Nothing. Fat zero. Off chance. And I want people to understand that who are watching this. I really did try. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was that uh, tech savvy, you know, to to get my own bots, to purchase three quantities or two quantities, you know, to snatch two quantities right away. I wish I, I wish that I knew how to do that, honestly. But then that would make me look like, um, well, then I would be an asshole. You know, I would be a scumbag, right? Then I would be no different. Then I would be a scumbag just like them. I don't know. Um, so here's what I want to say unless you guys don't have any more questions before I end this I'll keep you posted on all this before I end this uh, uh, live stream um, I don't like that we have to go through this uh, as I said previously earlier that we have to go through all this crap um, you know this is not a good time this is a very desperate times and certain times uh, that we have to go through this crap just for, for a freaking entertainment. You have to go bend over backwards, break your back, break your leg, uh, just to get a freaking entertainment. Entertainment, right? And and that's a pretty sad world that we're living in. Just to get a damn entertainment piece of plastic, you have to go through all this bullshit. Um, and uh, it's not a good time. It's nothing to be happy about. You know, this, I'm not sitting here and saying, oh, what a great time to be alive. It's always a good time to be alive, to experience all of this. But this is not the best of times for video gamers or for PC gamers. This is not the best of times. I know what it was like to be in the best of times uh, for the video gamers. And this is not it. This is probably, not probably, 100% the worst of times for video gamers, that we have to go through all this crap, uh, hope, hope, hoping that the, we'll get a console. And this, I don't even know what's going to happen here. I'll keep you posted through my journey, part two, part three, part four, part five, till I finally get it, part six, and do the unboxing and setup. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen. So many things can happen here. Maybe the seller, maybe they'll never receive it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, the seller, the, the, the stock X hasn't received it. And as long as stock X doesn't receive it, that's it. I didn't pay for nothing. I, I mean, I, mean I, I paid nothing because they're not going to charge me until it's authenticated. So that means the seller doesn't get a money till it's authentic, uh, authenticated. Uh, and I haven't even, uh, I checked my email and the stock X hasn't even received it yet. So I don't know where the, where the console is, uh, where is it coming from, you know, Tunguzia or somewhere out there. I don't know where this guy is selling, uh, where is he shipping it from? Maybe on a sea, on a little tiny boat. Maybe the great white shark will eat it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll keep you posted, man. It'll be interesting. Well, David, you know, uh, yeah, Desperado. I, I want to check all the features. I want to check the 4K Blu-ray and see how it works and uh, the difference between this and uh, OPPO UDP 203. I even want to connect PlayStation 5 through my OPPO UDP 203. I want to do that. And I'll be the first one to do that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not since I said it now. But I have some plans for, for you know, testing the PlayStation 5. All sorts of different things. Um, but yeah, Dave. Um, uh, 
sometimes you just got to give in and F it. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes, well, you have no choice. I mean, what choice do I have? I mean, I tried every possible option uh, and it didn't work out. And I don't even know if this is going to work out. With my luck, uh, with my shitty luck, dude, I don't even know if even this is going to work. Honestly, who knows what's going to happen? Uh, maybe he's not going to pass the test. They're going to say, sorry, he didn't pass the test. I wish, actually, I hope that he doesn't pass the test so I can go ahead and get this one for 680 for a lower price. Uh, but who knows, man? Maybe he's going to get lost somewhere out there in... I don't know, man. We'll see. Maybe the UPS guy is going to take it and he's going to write down that he delivered it. You know, he's going to say it's been delivered, but actually it's not delivered, but he wrote it down that it's delivered and he's going to take it for himself. Who the fuck knows what's going to happen to it? Uh, these are desperate times. Maybe, I maybe I'll never have it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll go through this journey. I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow i'm gonna do um flight simulator uh piper uh what the hell is it piper three something piper arrow uh three it's a brand new uh cessna airplane and uh it's highly detailed there's actually a chick called emilia that sits right next to you in the cockpit and you can talk to her while you're flying Okay, I mean, I guess you could talk to her while you're flying. So we'll have some fun. We'll go fly uh, through Switzerland, and we'll, we'll we'll have some fun, you know. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on uh, any news that I find out about. Did I did StockX receive it? Did they get it? Uh, is it? Do they have it, or do they not have it? And I'll keep you guys posted and let you know what's going on. Uh, through my journey videos. Also today, I made some uh, made some funny videos with the trolls. I just felt like you know, people ask me, "Hey, Mister Four K, you're a grown ass man." Uh, I am a grown ass man, but I like to have fun sometimes. You know, I like to have fun. I like to you know mess around with these trolls i'm not trying to give the trolls a spotlight a lot of people ask me what are you trying to do give them a spotlight no but i just find it funny i, I just wanted kind of like to have a little fun you know just to showcase like how dumbfounded uh these trolls are with their dumbfounded comments and sometimes i felt like let, let me have some fun let me just make some uh, some comedy you know and as you can tell by the dislikes, they get triggered easily, you know. But some people don't seem to get it. Uh, and I think a lot of you guys don't seem to... Either you don't have a sense of humor, and I don't mean to upset some of you, but it seems like either A, you don't have a sense of humor or you don't get it. Or it's something else. Um, I don't give a shit about the trolls. And I never will. I've been doing this for eight years. But sometimes I have a hard on. I'm horny for them, you know. And today I had a hard on for them. For my trolls. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> I think it's funny. I thought it was funny. <laughs> All right, so, uh, but usually I don't like making those kind of videos. You know, I'm not like, uh, you know, I don't like giving these assholes any spotlight, but I just thought it was funny. The guy says to me, Sony needs to send me a PlayStation 3, and I'm like, okay, dude, Sony uh, doesn't need to send me a PlayStation 3 because uh, I have the original PlayStation 3 on the uh, 2007 when it was released. I got the uh, serial number, the whole thing, and... The story is not going to end. It's going to continue just like it did with the PlayStation 4 Pro, with the PlayStation VR, and now PlayStation 5. You know, and then this other guy says, the same guy says, um, I don't want, he says, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I don't have a PlayStation 5 so I can go and ride my motorbike and meet a real woman 
I said, what is the real woman? Like, what do you mean by a real woman? Aren't they all real? Uh, or maybe there's something you know that we don't know. So I like to have a little fun with them, you know. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to, people think, uh, this guy is acting childish. I'm just, I just want to show to people uh, just the kind of moronic uh, idiocracy uh, that you have to deal with, with these uh, trolls, you know. But might as well have some fun. They're there. Trolls are not going anywhere. They're always there. But sometimes you should have fun with them. You know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know. The lump oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on, man. I know exactly who they are. But some of them are adults, believe it or not. Some of them are an adult, believe it or not. Um you be you be surprised how many of them they're like in their thirties. In their thirties. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You would be surprised. Well, I don't maybe you're not gonna be surprised. I don't know. Nothing should shock you in, in twenty twenty one. After what we've been through in twenty twenty. Uh, nothing should really shock you in twenty twenty one. But uh these are grown ass men. These are grown ass men. Better believe it. You better believe it. There's a commercial uh, on my local TV here. Some Persian guy. Uh, he always uh, he looks like Danny DeVito, and he's selling the beds, brand new beds. Come see the, uh, come get the furniture, come get these big queen size bed, king size bed, whatever. And he always says, "It is only two ninety nine. You better believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it." It is only two ninety nine. You better believe it. You better believe it. This fucking guy makes me, dude. I want, I want to buy a freaking bed from him just because I fucking love that commercial. Anyway, <laughs> all right, guys. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. Thank you all for stopping by. Uh, I'm gonna fix the member chat and the whole thing. You know, I'm gonna fix my live chat. The whole. Sorry about the beginning because I didn't realize that automatically went to the member chat and the slow mode and i was like there's 50 people here and what the hell you know it was i didn't know he was on a member chat so i apologize for that but uh i'll keep you posted i'll let you know what's going on with the whole situation um you know and hopefully if i get it whenever i get it if i finally get it uh i can unbox it and plug it in and do some testings and start making those videos and you guys can ask me questions and we can dive into it and uh, try to get the best possible picture settings for the game mode on the uh, LG C10 and um, check it out and see how it works. Hopefully, keep my fingers crossed. But listen, if I'm not destined to get it, uh, if I don't get it, if something happens, the least I can say is I tried. <laughs> Lord Gaming, thank you, man. You came in a little bit late because uh, we're ending the live stream. But uh, thank you for stopping by, uh, Brendan. Uh, how's your mom doing? I hope everything's well and good. Um, I know, Brendan, I know uh, how much you support me and how, how much uh, you've been here. I know who's who, believe me, Brendan. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Love you too, Brendan. Yes, Brendan. I got my PlayStation 5. It's right here. It's right here. Brendan, check it out. Check this out. Look at it. Let me show it to you. Uh, it's right here, actually. Uh, where is it? Where, where did I put it? Where's my, uh, where's my PlayStation 5? Jesus Christ, I should be here somewhere. Oh my God, I can't, oh, wait a minute. Is this it? Wait, hold on. No, that's not it. Oh, it's right here. I found it. It's right here. Guys, this is my PlayStation 5. It's right here, man. Um, you know, I think it's time that I come clean. 
<laughs> I shouldn't be doing this crap. Hold on. Dylan, what I was trying to say is, uh, my PlayStation, uh, my PlayStation, PlayStation Five was right here, and I wanted to show it to you guys. You know, it was, uh, it happened to be uh, by mistake a Stadia. <laughs> I know. It's what it is, man. It's the computer. Even the computer doesn't like me no more. I said, no, you don't have a PlayStation 5. You have a Stadia. Your allegiance is to Stadia, to Stadies. You can't just leave Stadies. How dare you? <laughs> Dylan. Dylan. Here, man oh it's right oh dude i found it it's right oh my god this there you go Check it out. This is the PlayStation 5 Slim. A PlayStation 5 Slim. I came from the future. And I also went to the Apex TV. But the Apex TV, they told me they don't want to uh, post a video with me. So I got to do this on my own. I don't know why. I said to Apex, this is the truth. I came from the future. This is 2028 uh, PlayStation 5 Slim. 5 nanometer dual GPU and dual CPU from AMD. It's unbelievable. Here, I want to show it to you guys. It's right here. Here. Look at it. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I, if the, uh, the, the box arrives on the 26th of March and this is what I find. Empty box full of cat food. Well, it's not so bad. I can feed the cats, you know. So, hey, you know. Cat food will not go to waste. I'm going to feed the uh, the stray cats. You know, they're hungry. Oh, Lord. That was too much. Anyway. I'm doing good, Robert. Thank you. I got to get going, unfortunately. Um, uh, it's been fun for two and a half hours. Uh, I think I covered a lot of things about uh, StockX and uh, 
we also talked about the Sony and PlayStation and, and the whole situation, you know, um, like I said, I don't know how this is going to work out, but I did watch other people's YouTube videos and they seem to be, you know, getting their console in a good shape. Uh, no dents, no scratches. They're able to power that up there. It's working. Like I said, my only fear is the the package is lost, and there goes the seven hundred dollars down the drain. Uh, ugh, that's the worst nightmare. Then you got to deal with the stock axe, and the stock axe you have to tell them I never received that, and you have to go through all that BS. Um, so I just hope that everything goes smooth, and I don't have to deal with this crap. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know. <laughs> Offer up? I never tried the offer up. If this doesn't work out, if this doesn't work out, I might try the offer up. I don't know. Uh, but I think it will work out. I think it will. Uh, I think it will. Because others are telling me that, they, hey, they got it. Uh, they had to wait, but they finally got it. And, uh, you know. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know, and anything is possible. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with um, with a live stream. I'll be here with the uh, with the new airplane. We'll be flying through Switzerland uh, with a Piper Arrow 3 uh, from Just Flight. Hi highly detailed plane, really good. There's Augustus. Oh, man, all you guys are coming in late, man. Um, <laughs> I've been here since uh, 10 o'clock for three hours. Anyway, I got to run. Um, make sure to check out this from the beginning. Uh, and um, yeah, we should do the play GT, man. Definitely. We can do that. We can do the GT. Or we can do some... Um, uh, The family feud. We can jump into a family feud. Who knows? We can jump into that. Take the fools to small uh, claims. Yes. Blocking. I like to have fun with them before I block them sometimes. I like to toy with them. You know. Just toy with them. To me, the the trolls are like um, like a toy, you know, like that that lush thing that the chicks use and they put it in and it vibrates. I kind of the same thing. I just like to play with them. I like to vibrate them. Yes, I like to vibrate them like a dracul. <clears throat> nah, it's okay, Augustus. Man, tomorrow you can catch me. I'll be here tomorrow in the afternoon um, and I'll keep you guys posted there might be a video part two on the uh, stock X and I'll keep you guys posted on the situation and what's going on yes uh, a horny Dracul all of the Draculas are, are are horny they're horny bastards bro ask Christopher Reeve not Christopher Reeve uh, Christopher Lee Christopher Lee and um, He's he was the original Dracula. Uh, he'll tell you. Yes, welcome to my home. <laughs> um, Gary Oldman was the best, right? Gary Oldman was the best Dracula. I like when Keanu Reeves comes in, and he goes like, "You are my guest. You shall sit down and eat." And I want you to write word by word. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great fucking movie, man. Bram Stoker Dracula. He holds that lantern. He goes like, Gary Oldman. Welcome to my home. <laughs> um. Anyway, and I thought my jokes were bad. Hmm? So I'll see you uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
And um, don't forget, um, next week, if you have HBO Max, speaking of Batman and Joker, if you have HBO Max, don't forget, some big movies coming out. Next week, we have uh, Zack Snyder. Uh, this is next Snyder director Scott version uh, of uh, Justice League on the 18th. Uh, and then by the end of the month, we finally have King Kong versus Godzilla. So some pretty cool stuff happening on HBO Max, man. I never, I never thought I said this, but HBO Max is mopping the floor with Disney right now. Disney Plus, for real. Yes, the Bram Stoker Dracula. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue this, and I'll keep you posted on uh, my journey with PlayStation 5. <laughs> I think I'm not going to spoil it, Mamba. Yeah. They need to put more 4K content, you know, even though these new movies are in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, like you'll be able to see uh, Zack Snyder cut in Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and also uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla will be in Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, uh, Philly, Augustus, David. Uh, congratulations to Desperado. Desperado's gonna, by mistake, uh, ship the console to me. I think he put the wrong address. He put my address, so the the console will arrive at my doorstep, and I'm gonna send this one to his address, and uh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Dylan, because I have a clear vision. All right, guys, now get to the chopper. Stop watching this now. I don't care. I put the PlayStation, the, the Turbo PlayStation. I just want the chopper. I want the chopper full of the PlayStation's fives in there. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Good times. Good times. See you tomorrow. <laughs>